it's inevitable. Your auto insurance premiums are going to go up with time. Like it or not, there's nothing we can do to stop it. I could stop it right here and just say, that's a rate increase and cut the video. But that would be kind of boring. What if we pulled back the curtain and looked a little closer to find out what drives your auto insurance premiums? What if I told you that the ingredients in your auto insurance are similar to a chocolate chip cookie? Let me explain. Everybody has a chocolate, different chocolate chip recipe. Your mom probably has a secret ingredient that you don't even know about, whereas my mom has a different recipe than what your mom made. But there's some commonalities to all chocolate chip recipes. Of course, chocolate chips are gonna be the number one component, right? Auto insurance companies are gonna be very similar in that. They're all gonna have very common themes. For instance, one of those ingredients is going to be driving history. If you have any accidents or tickets, all insurance companies are gonna look at that when it comes to your auto insurance. But each insurance company is gonna have some different ingredients to make up your auto insurance premium. And so with that being said, we're gonna look at the common ingredients that auto insurance companies look at that drive your premium. So the first ingredient we have is age. Like it or not, age does impact your auto insurance. If you have a child that's getting ready to turn 16, brace yourself, it's going to be expensive. If they're a 16 year old male, it's going to be expensive. It's just part of it. Youthful drivers just don't have the experience. And generally most insurance companies will say, look at 25 years of age and younger. It's going to impact your insurance premiums. It's part of it. The second most common ingredient to your auto insurance is driving history. Do you have any accidents or tickets? Now there's a common myth out there that if you have a comprehensive claim, if you hit a deer, if you have hail damage, that it doesn't affect your insurance. But if you have a, several of those types of claims in a short amount of time, it's going to impact your auto insurance premium. Ingredient number three, where do you live? Do you live in rural Worth County or do you live in the heart of Kansas City? Generally, the higher the population, the more dense the traffic, and therefore higher insurance premiums. Now I will tell you, especially when it comes to comprehensive, that one line item of coverage, we're seeing a higher premium in rural areas because of deer claims. So keep that in mind. The fourth ingredient to your auto insurance premium, what do you drive? What kind of vehicle? Are you driving a newer Maserati or are you driving a hand-me-down Ford? That makes a difference. The newer the vehicle, we're seeing more gadgets, more bells and whistles, camera, navigation, all these things impact your auto insurance premium. You gotta remember to repair and replace these vehicles is costing more. Talk to your favorite body shop guy. He'll tell you that older vehicles are still costing the same or more to repair them. So the costs are not going down. It's all impacting your premiums. Number five, gender. I'm not being sexist. Guys, we tend to wanna to impersonate Mario Andretti more often than women, especially your 16 year old son. Number six, marital status. Yes, this does impact just a little bit. I wouldn't run out to go get married just to have a better insurance premium though. So the seventh ingredient, do you currently have auto insurance? So if you call me tomorrow and you say, Brandon, I need some car insurance, but I haven't had car insurance the last eight months, your premiums are gonna be higher than the guy who calls me and says, hey Brandon, I need some car insurance. I've been with so-and-so for the last 10 years. If you currently consistently carry auto insurance, you're going to have more favorable premium than the guy who doesn't. Number eight, prior liability limits. So if you cause an accident, this is what's going to pay for somebody else's injuries, pay for the property damage involved. Do you just have what the bare minimum that Missouri requires just to skate by and keep it cheap? Or do you have adequate limits to protect your family's financial future? Do you have the 2550 or do you have like 100, 300, 250, 500, etc.? Generally, the person who has higher liability limits is going to have a more favorable premium. Number nine, tell me how long you've been with your current insurance company. Have you been with that insurance company for a year or have you been within the last 15 years? Longevity does make a difference with some companies. The, more, the longer you've been with them, the more favorable your premiums could be. Number 10. You can't have chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips. How do you use your vehicle? Do you use it to go pick up the kids, go to the grocery store, go to work? Or do you use it for your lawn care business, for Uber? Are you making money with your vehicle? This not only will impact your premium, but it's gonna impact coverage. Are you covered or not? So 
got to find out how are you using your vehicle. A couple of other things to think about. There are more drivers on the road today and more miles being driven than there ever has been. Therefore, we do see more claims. The other thing is we're living in a day and age when we've never seen this many distracted drivers on the road. I don't know why anybody would pay for a billboard. Who's looking at billboards anymore? They're texting while driving. Just know the next time you see your auto insurance premium go up, it's not just some random rate increase. There are things behind the scenes that are driving it. Bon Appetit.